If anything, he just uh, decides to rear back like that because he wants to be put down. We can go and put him down if you guys want. Mason! This is Jordan. He's my little South American three-banded armadillo. Now, he's fully grown. Jordan won't get any bigger than this, which is really sort of cool because I don't have to worry about getting a bigger cage for him. <laughs> um, but he gets to walk around with me throughout the day. Um, it's getting a little bit chillier out nowadays, so he won't be able to come out as often or as long. Uh, but he still loves to come out and say hi. Yes. Look the armadillo. Don't get close to it. What do you want to do, Jordan? You guys can sure come on up. You guys can pet him right along his back if you want to. Pet him right along his back and be very gentle, okay? What are you doing, Jordan? Are you digging stuff out of Yes, you are. <laughs> Yep. That's why I like letting him walk around on the concrete, because that way he... What? Is that a shell on his back? Yes, it's his shell. Um, the shell kind of feels like the little... Sort of. Do you know what a shell's made out of? Here's a hint. We have it on our body, and girls like to paint it a lot. Skin. Fingernails. It's a protein molecule known as keratin. That's uh, probably the primary cell in our um, fingernails. So it comprises his shell, the rhino's horn, the ho horse's hooves. They're all about the same thing, which is really simple. So maybe if you let your fingernails go really long, you'll have a shell or a rhino horn. <laughs> or something to really hurt someone. Uh, <laughs> is that a pet? Time to give the kids oh, ideas. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> it's just hard. It's I don't think I've ever come. Armadillo before. <laughs> <laughs>